What's up guys and welcome to our YouTube channel DWC Academy where we show you how to design with Canva. My name is Onoha UI and today I'll be showing you how to split photos for Instagram in Canva. Before we do that, subscribe to this channel, get 4 to 5 days of Canva Pro for free, link is in the description, drop your thoughts in the comments as I'll be responding to most of them and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, hey guys, so here we are in the cat in Canva and this is my Canva environment. Now, one thing that you'll do is you have to figure out where exactly you have your images or the particular image that you want to split. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you. For instance, if you have, this is where I usually save most of my designs. And right here, we have this group of designs that I've actually created. And let's say I want to split one of these designs into nine different posts. And I want to put them on Instagram so they look more like splitted photos. Most times you want to do this using an app, but in this case, we're not going to be using an app. What we're going to use is Canva. So let's say I want to use this particular one here. I'm going to open this design. When I say that I want to split this photo into nine different posts i also want to show you what that means okay so this is my instagram account for design with canva academy this is our instagram account and we're just going to go to the main account here so you could see the posts that we already have now you can see that we've got a lot of posts here which is going to count for instance you can see this is one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can imagine that all of this happens to be one image and then you break them and post them as individual posts, making up nine posts and they will also form your image by the time you've posted all of them. Now notice that on Instagram, you're not supposed to post eight photos at a time except in the carousel, but you have to post this ones individually for maybe nine times. So after the ninth one, you should have formed a complete image. So let's break that photo. I'm gonna come over here and we have this one. I wanna break this entire post. And I'm just gonna go here and say, download. And I'm just gonna leave the size this way, but you can work on the size if you want to. Now I'm gonna choose the page that I want and I just want page one as the cover and I'll just go ahead and say download. Now after downloading it, I'm going to upload it back into Canva. But before you upload it into Canva, you have to go create a new design. So you create a new design and then you make sure that when choosing this particular design, you're working on the dimension of the design entirely. So when you're gonna create a new design, the size of your design is going to be 2000 by 2000. This is for people who are also using a free account. So you don't have to go ahead doing this over and over and getting messed up stuff, right? So you have to create a new design and you just have to be custom size here. And the custom size, you are going to say 2000 by 2000. So the width and the height will be 2000 by 2000. Now, when you have this particular um, page open, this is your Canva editor. What you need to do is go to upload and upload that image that you just downloaded back into Canva. To upload an image into Canva, just go over to upload here and you just tap on upload image, go to device and then you can see your image here. All you need to do is double tap it, click on it to get on your artboard or your editor. And then you just have to drag it like this and drag it like this. If you are using uh, Canva on the desktop, just notice that when you tap out, this image will automatically snap into, to mask into the background and you don't want that to happen. So we're not gonna reduce this yet. Now, what you're going to do is you're also going to imagine that this is going to give you nine posts on Instagram. And let me show you how to do that. We have one here. So I'm going to go over to elements and on the element section, I'm going to pick this one here. It's a rectangle. It's a square. Yeah, it's a square. And I'm just going to bring it in and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to just reduce it like this. It doesn't matter the size. I'm just going to duplicate it. This is one and another one. So making it three. So I'm just going to take it this way 
and you can see right now that we have three if i duplicated the same three down here we have six if i duplicate it down here we have nine and it's all equal all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to come here and this particular one here i'm going to change the colors so you would see what we're doing this one i'm going to change the color to this and this one i'm going to change the color to this so you can see what we're working on now i'm going to break this image this particular image that we have here this one we imported i'm going to break it into nine different images and you're going to see how that works so right here i'm going to bring it here and to break it i am not reducing it what i'm doing i am cropping it okay so i'm going to have the image entirely like this and then what i'm going to do is start cropping i'm going to crop from here to this point and i'm going to crop down to this point now you can see that we have one part of that image already so remember that you have another photo just behind it all you need to do is go to position and position this back click on this yellow image here and delete it you're done with that the next part you want to do is you want to also check get another image for this this one here you are going to duplicate it and if you want to duplicate it you can just double click on it and you can copy and then you can paste it that's uh, command C and command V or you could use control C and control V in my case I'm using the max so I'm going to hold down option and shift I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it like this you can see it and then I'm going to just position it back here the next thing I'm gonna do is drag this part to this side and drag this part to this part that's it I'm gonna click on this and delete it so the same thing you're also going to duplicate this you're going to drag it here and you're also going to reduce it like this so when you go ahead to delete this you can see that you've formed this three parts right here the next thing you want to do is you're also going to click on it and put it here do not drag it bring this one down here to this is going to be like a guide to show you what exactly you're going to do. It's the same thing as bringing this rectangle right here and putting it here and reducing it like this, dragging it down. It's the same thing. So in this case, I'm going to use this one option, put it here. Then I'm going to drag it like this to extend it and also reduce it here. All you want to do is you want to make sure they've got perfect squares for each and every one of this so then that's exactly what I'm showing you how to do the next one is this one also holding down my shift and option button you can use your alternate and shift if you are using a Windows alternate and shift if you're using a Windows click and drag you're gonna get it some effect so I'm also gonna reduce this you can see that we have this accurately set here the next thing again is just to get it again and drag it here and also drag it here so you can see it we've got six right now we are left with three to do that we're also going to copy this and just drag it remember to not this is not what you're supposed to do don't bring it down nope you're not supposed to do that leave it where it is and drag it down okay drag it down and get this too and drag it down that's it copy the sample again and drag it like this here and drag this here the last part is going to be this one it's on the top of this I'm gonna drag it here and then I'm also going to drag it right here so that's it you can see that we have this image divided into nine different pairs the last part is we have nine pairs here so we're going to create an extra eight pages right now so to do that you're going to just say add a page remember that this is not going to be the first one the first post starts from here so i need to show you guys how that is so that is how you will save them one this is one this is going to be the first post this is going to be the second one it's going to be the second one and 
this is going to be the ninth post. Okay, so well, when you're going to start doing this, you, this is going to be the first post, so you don't have to mistake it. This is going to be post one because you post from down up and not from up down. So you post down up, that's how you build posts on Instagram. So you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it here as your first post. And you can just write it here and you can just give it here and just say one. You also do the same thing for two. You post, you paste it here and just drag it. This is two and then three. So you're just gonna copy them and use them to build a complete post page here. Okay. is for nine okay for nine all right so this is it now you automatically have this so that means you don't need this first one again just gonna go ahead and delete it now you see we've got one to nine pages okay so this is one already and then two three four five six seven eight and nine now if you don't have a pro account what I recommend that you do is before you start designing make sure before you start designing the original post that you want to split make sure you design in a larger dimension make sure you're choosing three five hundred or two thousand all right make sure it's two thousand by two thousand or three five hundred by three five hundred make sure this is the dimension you are choosing so that when you download your image it's going to be in high quality if you're not going to be doing this you won't be able to change or resize if you don't have a pro account but if you want to have that feature where you can resize and you want to test it first there is a link in the description that gives you access to Canva Pro free for 45 days. You can go ahead and try that and you're also going to have this resize here. What I mean by the resize is when you come into your design here and you want to resize this from a smaller dimension to more higher dimension, which means resolution in Canva, what you need to do is go to resize and you can see this is 1080 by 1080. I can just change it to 3, 500 by Three five hundred, and I'm just going to say resize. Now, automatically, it has resized this. The quality is better, and if I download this, it's going to be good. So make sure you do this for the photo that you first want to split, and then you can go ahead and download it. Remember, another way that you can download is when you go to download, you can also increase the size from here. Okay, that's also what you can do. You can also increase the size from here so that is exactly what you do and after downloading that remember and you've started splitting and split at it it's going to be very very clear right here and not so blurry as you can see now remember that I changed this from 1080 to 3300 and if I go ahead to download it it's going to be much more better than what you are seeing here so let's go ahead and just download this as a zip file I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it split post Okay, so what I'm going to do next is go over to download and I'm going to select all of the night pages because that's what we have already and we have them here. So I'm just going to say one to nine and I'm going to go ahead and just say download. And remember that you can increase this size here if you want to, but it's okay. We've got a good size uh, for better resolution if we're going to be using this. But this is for demonstration sake, so we don't have to do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just say download all of the nine pages. And we just give it a few seconds. It should be ready. So we've got the download coming up and it's, it's done. 
I'm just going to click on it to unzip so you can see what it looks like already. You can see the pulse entirely. Yeah. So when you go back here and bring that pulse back into uh, Canva here, this particular pulse here, you can see you, you'd know which one is the last and which one is the first. So if we go to our split pulse here and try to view it like this, all right, so you can see that this is going to be the first post that we're going to make and then this and then this then this like this so we're not going to start from here down we're going to start from down up so if we check what we've downloaded now it means that we're going to start from nine to one and not from one to nine so this is going to be how we're going to start nine eight seven six five four three two and one so when you go ahead to post this you are going to get your main post that looks exactly like you've splitted it using one of those apps that splits this but the difference here is you have the ability and the control to make your post to even look sharper and not blurry you can still control the size of your design but on those apps you can control the quality of the designs and the mistake a lot of people make is when they go ahead to create that design they create it using a low dimension and not working on the dimension first in canva before downloading and even uploading it and even splitting it this might look a little bit uh uh lengthy for someone who just want to use the app but this is a short way to get your photos top notch when you post them on instagram so they look cleaner and sharper and not blurry if you want to try to use this and you don't have a pro account don't forget there is a link in the description that's going to give you access to using canva pro free for 45 days so just go right there and use that link and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel don't forget to do that at any point in this video if you do like it give it a thumbs up drop your thoughts in the comment i will be responding to as many as possible and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget seven days without canva next one week and until then i dab